Okay, I hope you're really getting into the mood, getting into the vibe, hope you're embracing everything, because today we're gonna be talking about vibe coding. So this is the first video in a series about vibe coding. Of course, it's about using large language models while coding, however, it has a very specific definition. So after we go through the definition and the history of where this term came from, I'm going to give you a real world demo of how you can use vibe coding to create a website. Okay, so if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so let's get into this vibe coding. So it's uh, an interesting expression. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from Andre Kapathy, who said in February of this year, there's a new kind of coding I call it vibe coding, where you fully give in to the vibes, embrace exponentials and forget that the code even exists. So that's the idea. So it's really coding using a large language model to do all the stuff for you. You just want to go into the vibe. Just give me what I want. Don't worry about the code. Now, who is Andre Carpathy? Why does he have the right to say such a thing and then have it t coined as a phrase? Well, he has a PhD from Stanford. He was a founding member of OpenAI. He was previously the director of AI at Tesla, and he is currently at Eureka Labs, where he was the founder. So basically, one of the greats in the modern era of uh, large language models and AI as we're going through at the moment. Then continuing in that same quote, he says this, I asked for the dumbest things like decrease the padding on the sidebar by half because I'm too lazy to find it. I accept all, always, accept all, all the changes. I don't read the diffs anymore. And this is where what we're, this is what we're talking about. It's talking about where you're getting a large language model, do the coding and you are letting the large language model take all the decisions. You're not trying to review it. You're not trying to look at what it's done. You're not trying to understand the code. You're just saying, I want to change the color of that box. I want to change the position of this. I want to add a new button here. I want to decrease the padding on that. And basically you let the LLM do it. So basically you're into the vibe, what you're creating. You're into the final product. You're into what it's going to feel like, what it's going to look like, how it's going to respond. And you let the large language model deal with all the technical issues of the coding and all of that stuff. Another way to put it is this, uh, building software with an LM without reviewing the code it writes. And that's from Simon Willison, who is also a, a very much involved in AI development today. So that's a really good definition, building software with an LLM without reviewing the code that it writes. That's vibe coding, where you just say, go ahead and build me that, change that, modify that, tweak that. You don't need to understand the code. You don't need to understand what's happening. You just let go with the vibe. You just let the LLM do it all. Or as another way that Andre put it, the hottest new programming language is, well, it's not C, it's not Rust, it's not JavaScript, it's not Python, it's English. The hottest new programming language is English because you tell the LLM what you want in English or in the language that you speak, and then it goes ahead and writes all the code for you. And this expression has become uh, much, much more popular. Here we are now a few months later, and even the CEO of Google, in an interview he gave to The Verge, said, I was vibe coding a few weeks ago. The power of what you're going to be able to create on the web. We haven't given that power to developers in 25 years. So here, uh, the CEO of Google is understanding that there is a power to be given to developers by allowing the LLM to do a lot of the hard work, you concentrate on what it is that you want to create. Okay, so let's do a demo of Vibe Coding. I am on Horizons from hosting us, so hosting a Horizons. It's a website creation service which uses a large language model. You type in a prompt, for example, here they've got modern landing page, uh, Kanban board, portfolio website, expense tracker, and so much more. And I've come up with a, a prompt that I thought would be quite interesting. So create a web-based tool that allows users to paste and share blocks of text, which I'm calling snippets, typically code, text, error messages, or logs. All shared snippets are public, and there is a public landing page which lists the shared blocks of text with paging. 
Click on a snippet, show it fully. Each snippet needs a unique URL, which can be shared with others. There is a plus button that allows you to anyone to add. Now, this of course has been done before, Pastebin and other kind of websites like that, but I'd like a sleek modern one. and I don't wanna code it myself. I'd like hosting a Horizons to code it for me. So let's go ahead and ask it to do that. Okay, so as we can see, it's working. On the left-hand side, we can kind of see the dialogue with the large language model. On the right, you can see that this writing code, you can just see that in the background as it's scrolling up writing the code. We're not interested in the code, this is vibe coding. Just let the code be, ignore the code exists as the quote was, and let's just concentrate on the vibe. I wanna create this this website. Let's let it do its job. Okay, so it's done. So over here on the left, it's all done. Your snippet share tool is ready to rock. Let me know if you'd like to make any adjustments. And that's part of the vibe coding circle. You kind of just say, yes, give me uh, this, change the padding, change the color. But look how beautiful this is. Love this. Right, here we go. I'm not, this is this is live demo as it were. Let's uh, click on it. Okay, so we'll give it a title. This is the title. Okay, I'm gonna give it any stretch. It's just plain text. So we're just gonna type in some text like that. Uh, and then we create the snippet uh, and then we go back to home. There's our first snippet listed. We can create another one here. Let's go number two. What other languages have we got? Oh, look at this. We can do C++, JavaScript, Python. Uh, so, you know, we can just print. Imagine this is Python. Python, okay, we're not gonna okay, create snippet, okay. Uh, back to the home page. Now there are two of them there. Look at this, and we can click on here. Oh, absolutely fantastic. And look, it even gives you a date created, uh, the language it's in, the number of characters, loads of stuff. You can copy it, you can share it. And of course, because this is Vibe Coding, we can just go ahead and ask for some changes. So I'm gonna type into the prompt here, change the plus button from create new snippet, that's what it says here, to create snippet. So let's ask it to do that. Okay, so there you go, there it's done it. As you can see, this now says create snippet. I didn't have to find any code. I didn't need to work out where that's defined or anything. You can also go full screen to get the full vibe of what it is that you're creating and see those changes that you are making. And then when you are happy, you go ahead up here and hit publish and you can avail yourself of all the different services that Hostinger provide. So if you want to try Hostinger Horizons, go over to hostinger.com slash Gary and also use the discount code Gary to get 10% off your first month. Don't forget that Hostinger offer a whole range of different services, including web hosting, VPS services, domains, and email services. Okay, now there's a follow-up video to this one, Vibe Coding, what it's not, what it isn't. And that's coming soon to do make sure you stay around, subscribe to the channel and so on, so that you know when I drop that video. Okay, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this look at Vibe Coding. I'll see you in the next one.